Today in our 2014 Volkswagen Passat, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Yakima Ridgeback 2-bike hanging style rack, part number Y02457. Now with the bike installed, let's take a closer look and show off some of the features. On the ends of our two arms right here, we are going to have bottle openers that Yakima likes to put on a lot of their products. Our cradles, though they are stationary, do have this nice rubber TPE padding. Once we come in close, we're going to see these little bumps right there. They're going to act as shock absorbers for the frame of your bike while you're traveling. It's going to help protect the frame of your bike. Our bike has three different points where it's connected to the bike rack. We have two zip strips on top of our bike frame. Then down here on this vertical tube, we're going to have a zip strip in the anti-rattle cradle. Once you tighten that down, that's going to take away a lot of the shaking and the movement out of our bike while we're traveling. It's going to help prevent your bike from making contact with your vehicle or with another bike that you could have installed. Let's go ahead and remove the bike. We'll start with the anti-rattle strap. Now when I take that off, we're going to see that if you look right in the middle of the zip strip, it's going to have this nice soft padding right there that's going to help protect the frame of your bike while it's installed. And we'll do the two top straps. Then we can remove the bike. When you're done, it's always a good idea to go ahead and replace your zip strips. Because if they're just hanging there, you could lose them, and it's always a pain to have to buy more. Now, I will provide you guys with a few measurements. First, we're going to go from our bumper of the Passat to the outermost point of our bike rack. That's going to be about 27 inches added onto the back of our vehicle. For ground clearance, we are sitting pretty close to our receiver. So ground clearance is going to be a little bit shorter though at six and a half inches. However, like I said, we are sitting close enough to our vehicle to where any curb or bump that you hit should not be affected too much. And then our closest point to the bumper is about six inches. So plenty of space where it's not going to come up and make contact. Now these arms can fold down to help conserve some of that space we've added on to the back of our vehicle. We're going to come up to this gray handle up here and pull up on it. And that's going to let our arms come down. When you hear that audible latch, you know they're locked into place. Now if we measure again from our bumper to the outermost point, it's going to be about 13 inches added on to the back of our vehicle. So we have taken off a good chunk of that space that was added on. You want to keep this in mind for any close quarter situations you might have, such as parking or even storage. This hanging style rack can tilt away from your vehicle to give you access to your trunk. This other handle right here, this black colored one, we're going to pull down on that and we're going to tilt away our bike rack. And as you can see, we can open up our trunk and we can get whatever we might need and we'll be good to go. I do want to point out, however, leaving the trunk open real quick, we're going to tilt this back up like so. If you do have your bike installed, because it's not recommended to tilt away your bike rack while a bike is installed, we'll go ahead and show you that you can access your trunk while this is tilted up, or while it's folded up. As you can see, when I close the trunk, it doesn't come close to making contact with the bike rack. So in any cases where, like I said, if you have a bike installed, or if maybe you're limited on space in the back to where you can't tilt it away, you're still going to be able to access your trunk. And this is how it's going to go for most sedan-style vehicles. If we come down here and see where it's attached to our hitch, right now we have an inch and a quarter receiver on our Passat. If you have another vehicle in your household that has a two inch hitch receiver, you can put on an additional sleeve to the end of the shank of the bike rack. That's going to make it compatible with two inch hitches. Our anti-rattle mechanism is right here. Once we tighten that down like so, we already have it pretty tight. Well, it's going to take away the shake and play from our bike rack while we're traveling. And of course, we do have this safety pin in the other side. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you guys how this performed on our test course, fully loaded. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps. 
which will see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. And finally, we have the full speed bumps where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. 